Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I've got 29 bread and butter bolos coming your way. These are items that I picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, or actually, you know what? I forgot to say YouTube auctions. I've been doing some YouTube auctioning lately. Um, these are items that I picked up for low prices and sold for $35 or less. So I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for, and we're going to get started. All right. And the first item is, ooh, okay, these pigs. Okay, so Playmobil. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Playmobil, but I didn't know these were Playmobil pigs. I did a Google image search and I was able to figure out that these are Playmobil pigs. I've seen the horses, I've seen the people, but I have never seen the pigs. Well, apparently they're probably a little bit harder to find, but I ended up selling these for $17 and the buyer paid the shipping. Uh, I think these just came in a big lot of toys that I picked up. I get toys like from garage sales all the time. I buy them in bulk. I buy mystery box toys. And I honestly cannot remember where exactly these came from. But $17, buyer paid shipping, probably had less than a dollar in those. The next item I sold is this vintage play school dollhouse curtain. Yes, it is a curtain for a dollhouse. And it sold for $20.50 and the buyer paid the shipping. And it is a harder to find item. These items do go missing and people look for replacements on eBay. The next item is this vintage little Tykes dollhouse bedroom nightstand. It's a TV cabinet type thing. It opens in the front. And I sold this for $13.12 buyer paid shipping. And this also came in a lot of dollhouse items. This guy is from Scooby-Doo and he um, sold pretty quickly. He was not, I mean, he's a little dirty. I picked him up at a garage sale. I remember the garage sale. It was this huge box of toys. And I think I paid $2 for all of it, but there was so much junk in this box. But I will tell you, I dug some treasures out of there. And um, when I say treasures, like this sold for $10 and the buyer paid shipping, but I paid $2 for a huge box of stuff. And um, I love selling figures like this. And a lot of you guys are not going to waste your time with a $10 item. But to me, I mean, if I can get it for like five, 10 cents and sell it for $10, the buyer pays the shipping. I mean, I'm making seven or eight bucks on it. I mean, that's a fantastic profit for hardly any money and not much time. The next item I am showing you, um, not that it's a big money bolo. It's definitely not. I ended up taking a best offer of $10. I pick these up at garage sales all the time and I got this for 50 cents. It's a Kirkersville lion's hat. So Kirkersville is just like a city near me. It's a small city. So I knew the market was not going to be huge for this because it's a small town, but it still sold for $10. The buyer paid the shipping and you know, I think I got it over the summer. So it wasn't a super quick sale, but I paid 50 cents and sold it for 10 bucks. So I'll take those margins all day long. The next item was in a box or a tote of toys. Uh, I keep, I've talked about this um, in quite a few of the videos because this tote of toys I picked up at a garage sale like a year and a half ago and it's been sitting in my basement and I just never get around to it. And I was finally like, I am gonna list that tote of toys. And you will see that in all of my what solds recently, I have toys that have sold from that tote. So there were fantastic vintage toys in it. And I sold this for $14, best offer, buyer paid shipping. It's the Ghostbusters Ghost Sweeper from 1990. The next item I sold is this Versace women's perfume. It's partially used. It was like a tester. And I took a best offer of $20 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage sport cap snapback trucker hat. Uh, you can see it's got some water staining on it. Otherwise, I probably could have sold it for more because it's got this really cool graphic of a fire truck. Um, I didn't want to mess with cleaning it. I know Chernox Connection has um, a channel and he talks a lot about hats and cleaning them. And he is like a hat selling machine over there. So definitely check him out. I uh, sold this for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked it up at a garage sale for 50 cents. 
The next item I sold is this John Deere Tractors mixed lot of die cast and plastic toys. These came out of a mystery box and I sold these very quickly for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Disney Mighty Ducks action figure. This was in that tote of toys. Um, there weren't a whole lot listed on eBay comparables. So I went ahead and started the auction at $14.99, hoping I'd get like a bidding war, but I didn't, but I did get one bid and I'm very happy with that. Pro probably had like 10 cents in it and it sold for $14.99 buyer paid shipping. This guy was all, uh, yeah, I think he was also in that tote or he was at a garage sale, but I probably paid 50 cents for him. He's, he's kind of a mess. Looks like maybe a dog or an animal got a hold of it. Um, but his boots were in good shape and the boots pull out of the leg and they can be used as replacements. Uh, his head was decent. So I basically was selling it for parts, but probably the best piece on him were the boots. And I ended up selling this for $14.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I pulled out of a mystery box. It's a little deer. Anytime I can find flocked deer, I list them. This sold for $15 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, oh my goodness, let's talk about the wedding dresses. Ooh, deep breath. Um, I will never ever do this again. And that's gonna sound weird because I got all of these wedding dresses free, but I will tell you they were awful to list. Um, I had to dress the mannequin. I had to check all of the beading and I had to write this super long description on all of these items. I want to say I had like 70 dresses and again, they were all given to me free, but no, never again. They are so long tail. Have I made money? Yes. Was it worth my time? Uh, I don't know. And I'm still sitting on probably 20 to 30 of them. They just don't move, guys. Um, this one did end up selling for $32.30. Again, you know, I've made some money overall. I've probably, I don't know. I, I mean, I've made a little money, but for the amount of time that I spent listing the items, never again. I don't recommend it. And this is more of a learning bread and butter bolo. So I got it free. I sold it for $32.30, but I they take up lots of space. I mean, I can just go on with the cons. <laughs> the next item I sold is this vintage Halloween candlestick. I picked these up at a garage sale for $1.50 each. I had five of them. I decided to sell them individually. Um, I think the other one sold for 20, but um, that was more close around Halloween time. So this one sold after Halloween for $70.75 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Disney Store Finding Dory Nemo cake toppers a lot of 10. Uh, they came from a garage sale and I can't remember. I probably paid like a dollar, maybe two for these. I uh, sold them for $18 and 70 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage 1999 Barbie doll. She's the millennium Barbie. Um, prices are all over the place for these, but I have done really well with Barbies internationally. I do price mine higher than some of the solds. I, um, I don't price mine as the lowest priced item. Uh, people just have, what do you call that? Where everybody just tries to be the lowest price and then it bottoms out the market. I don't know what it's called, but um, I don't do that. I just price my item with what I want to get for it. And I wait for the right buyer to come along. I do promote my listings. So they show up at the top. And again, I sell a lot of my Barbies internationally. Um, I sold her for $33.99 and the buyer paid shipping. And if you look her up, you will see kind of prices all over the place. The next item that sold, these were super cool. I got them at a thrift store for a dollar. They were in a bag and they were all together. And I, they just appealed to me. I thought they were cute. They're rubber, they're vintage. I just thought they were cool. And I just had a hunch. And I ended up selling these for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage Whiting Davis uh, bag. It's an Art Deco gold tone mesh purse. Um, this was a long tail item. It did take the right buyer, but um, I, I believe this came from an estate sale and I probably had a buck or two in it and I sold it for $33.99 if I can remember correctly. Um, I'm not going to say 100% that that's where I got it, but I, I'm thinking it was an estate sale because 
It just looks like something I would get in an estate sale. <laughs> okay, you guys, this is another item that most of you probably wouldn't even waste your time with, but um, comps were decent. I ended up selling it for $9.60, and it is just this itty bitty thing. And I wasn't sure what it is, what it was. So I posted it in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and somebody's like, oh, that's a Mighty Morphin micro machine. I'm like, oh. So it sold pretty quick. So I thought I would share it with you guys. It sold for $9.60 in the buyer paid shipping. And if you were in my Facebook group and told me what this was, thank you. Um, it sold quickly. The next item I sold are these Barbie, Mattel, Kelly, Tommy, and Friends toddler dolls. I sold these for $27 best offer in the buyer paid shipping. And I pick these things up at garage sales and thrift stores all the time. The next item I sold are these vintage gruelly Christmas holiday streetlight lamp post candles. I picked these up at a thrift store for a couple bucks and I sold them for $28.70 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Insco um, Precious Moments Baby. And I, I guess it's just like a little doll. It's from 1989. Um, First, I thought maybe it was an ornament because I it was with a bunch of Christmas stuff, but it doesn't look Christmassy at all. So I don't know why I thought that. But it came in a mystery box and I sold it for $11, best offer, buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Braun series uh, shaver. I picked up a whole bunch of these at a garage sale. I think I paid $10 for all of them. Um, I've done really well with them. It was kind of an experiment because it's not something I typically sell and they have done pretty well. Now, I did have to kind of like open them up and get the hair out, which was kind of disgusting. So I'm not sure if I would buy them again just because it's kind of gross. But um, just wear gloves and get like a toothbrush or something, but still it's gross. So uh, would I recommend it? I guess if you want to clean them. I guess I didn't have to clean it, but I did. So um yeah, I did okay on these. They did pretty good. I sold this for a best offer of $15 that buyer paid shipping. And again, it was a pretty decent size lot. The next item I sold is this vintage Ruka Tavorian Sestine Harvaska <laughs> traditional doll. No clue. I totally said that wrong. But this came from a garage sale and the lady was a reseller. And she said that and she said she sells on eBay. But um, she had tons of items priced really reasonably. I think this was like 50 cents. And I'm like, you know, it's new old stock. I'm going to take a chance. And I sold this for $17 and the buyer paid shipping. So not bad for a 50 cent investment. This play school boy uh, with the yellow shirt, he is a harder to find item. So I decided to auction him. I was hoping I was going to get a bidding war, but I did not. But he did sell for $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this one for all universal learning remote. The packaging is yellowing and it has a two star feedback, but it still sold. I got this at a thrift store for $2 and 50 cents and it sold for $17 and 60 cents in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I got from a thrift store with a bunch of like makeup and perfume. It was kind of like a bulk buy. Uh, this is Lancome. It's like a blush and a blender. Uh, I don't really know how it works. I don't know if you just kind of rub it on your cheeks or what, but it sold for $20.49. The buyer paid shipping and I probably had less than a dollar in that. The next item I sold is this signed listener brooch. This came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. 344 pounds, I think is what it was. I'll have to go back and look and watch the video. I can't remember what it weighed. I actually weighed it in a YouTube video. <laughs> Go check that out and go check out when I bought it. Oh my gosh. It's a great story. It's a great story. I ended up selling this for $14 and the buyer uh, paid the shipping and this sold pretty quickly. The next item I sold is this Play School Victorian Dollhouse Musical Dresser Lighted Lamp. It's from 1991. It goes into the dollhouse. So I pulled it from the dollhouse because the dollhouse was missing things. The top light does not work. It may need a light bulb. It may be broken. I don't know. I just disclosed it. But this sold for $24 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, that concludes my bread and butter bolo video. 
these are my bread and butter bolos, items that I sold for $35 or less. And um, I am a full-time reseller. I typically start my items on eBay and then I cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark. And I use a service, um, it's an extension called List Perfectly. And if you're interested in checking that out, I do have a video, it should be popping up right here that'll show you how that works. Um, it is like a subscription where you pay a monthly fee. And if you wanna try it, you can get 30% off your first month using the referral coupon code Bolo Buddies. But I love it, I've been using it for over a year and getting your eyes, getting your eyes, getting your items on other platforms definitely gets other eyes on your items. So um, I've had things that have sat on eBay and then I cross post them and they sell immediately. So, I mean, it's not always like that, but when it, when it happens, it's like, yes, I love that. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you at the next video. Please leave me a comment that helps the channel tremendously. Um, and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.